poppin', man. You already know time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill, was in the building. Look, um, this is something different. Because usually when you see me in this seat, I'm doing um, freestyle. We have artists come in. We do freestyles. Usually don't interview from this seat. However, uh, it's a special occasion. So we're going to try something new, all right? My guy Gucci is in the building representing PG County. What's happening? I got to uh, I, I gotta slow my roll because I got to understand that it's not a freestyle. So usually I'll be up up tempo like let's get it you okay, ready okay gucci is in the building pg yes, county sir. is in the building i yes, still can sir. do that but it's not gonna be a freestyle um what brings you to j hill and the platform that i have to even want to be interviewed first of all i want to say thanks because i definitely appreciate it appreciate you too bro. But what, what, what brings you here so i just want to share my story and just like young fellas like me out here that's probably going to be watching or just a little motivation words of encouragement that's about it no nah, definitely so when you say your story what what story is that how I'm in the seat right now. So basically, Tycoon, so we do like artist management events and whatnot. So Tycoon is the the brand that you represent, yes, the thing sir. that you built. Mm -hmm. Okay. Family, business. All right, so mm -hmm. you can finish with that. All right, that. so we do like uh, digital marketing promotions and event planning, artist management too. So when I was in high school, I started it. Like I was just starting like, you know, just dropping it, teasing it. Mm -hmm. People like, Tycoon not gonna be doing nothing. Like he not going nowhere with it. You know, so I just started doing a couple of events and people were like, damn. And then I just started working with one artist. Cause you know, it's one thing to say you have artists and there's one thing to say, like you have artists that's actually doing something. Right, definitely. You know what I'm saying? So like, I just actually like manage one. Even but what, was, what made you even want to do the, go the artist route if you're in high school? Cause a lot of yeah. times when you're in high school, you want to be the artist in right. high school from, just from yeah, my point of view. Yeah, rapping is not my scene at all. Like I got in the booth one time, I was some ass. It was, it was that bad? Yeah, like, I you was You spit another like 16? Yeah, but like, I you was, would spit another sixteen. Say one more time. You would spit another sixteen. Nah. All right. So you. Nah, 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 nah. So yeah, my bad, my bad. But I'm more. I'm surrounded by artists too. Right. So that kind of what more and it like, so I know a lot of people that they need, but it's like they don't know I know because I'm not really presenting myself that I know them or they just don't know. So we start from the, the top though, from the beginning. You mm -hmm. all, you knew these people and you had these plugs since high school is what you saying? Yeah, basically, because some of them is family, some of them was like hosting the club, owners of club, and all that. And that's what the artists around me need. Like they're trying to get in these clubs. I'm trying to figure out what what high school did you like. I'm trying to figure out how did you know all these people in high school? I'm like, yeah, I mean, cause I used to go to parties a lot until I found out like in like clubs. So I used to go to clubs in high school. What type of clubs you going to in high school? Cause for you to know so, these type of people to plug artists in. I'm gonna just say it's a club in DC cause I was underage going to these clubs. It had to be Bliss. Yeah, I, I, bliss, <laughs> bliss Eden, uh, where else? We don't Manor, gotta say too many yeah. names. We don't wanna get nobody in trouble, but yeah, we don't nobody get in trouble anyways. I'm legal now, but um, yeah. So I used to just go in and just catch the vibe until I figured out you could start making money from it. Right. So then I just started going to like parties on a different mindset. Like, all right, I'm about to come and then like watch how they moving. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to come and party. I'm just about to come and watch how they moving. Right. So now I just started learning. I'm like, I mean, so I can do this too then basically. So now I just got to it. Just and you're originally started. from PG County. Yeah. Damn, that's dope. So I just started. Just got to it. That's that's it. lit. That's so now yeah. you got you say you, you have one artist now. Yeah. Who is who is that artist? Big Cash. Big Cash. Mm -hmm. Um you gotta Cause you know I'm from Baltimore. Yeah, cause you know, he I ain't young too. You gotta yeah. help me out. Who? Yeah, he young too. So the whole the whole purpose is like, cause I like a lot of young and then talented artists that people just don't know about. Like I want Tycoon to be that one platform to like bring that artist out. All right. You know? So tell me about yourself. And now, now I know in high school you said mm -hmm. you was plugged in. You got plugged yeah. into the party scene early. So you came in. You like, no, I got these plugs. And I want to use these plugs for artists to help mm -hmm. them make a way yeah. for themselves and their family. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now. Where you at with it? You in college or? Mm -hmm. I'm, in co I'm a freshman in college, so like, I'm giving these niggas a headache in college already. Like, nah, I, I, like, I feel the energy. Cause it's like when I first came and then like the freshman week, they ran the whole freshman week. And then the uh, towards the end of the first month, I had the Uzi concert. Mm. And everybody heard about the Uzi concert, but they didn't know that I was throwing it. So they like, who this freshman that's having an Uzi concert? And they find out it was me. That's when people just started watching and whatnot. And from there I had another party bus. I had a party bus party. like. Packed that ass bus. Like, they wanted me to shut my party down, actually. But, like, I still didn't shut it down. It was a packed bus to Bliss. That was only the party bus to Bliss. Packed mm -hmm. it out. And then after that, I had an Airbnb party. So, like, ever since then, like, people been watching. Then my artist just dropped his tape, too. All platforms. Like, we don't do, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, wait, I'm trying to understand this. So, all right, let's go back to Bliss High mm -hmm. School. Mm -hmm. Bliss, right? Yeah. So, you got into doing, doing parties. 
first yeah i'm assuming yeah then you wanted to have artists mm -hmm. so when you say tycoon was that a part of the party promotion yeah okay so you got into bliss mm -hmm. you you like y'all want to start throwing parties because we can make money from yeah. it a along with that because I, I didn't know that like artists be performing at clubs i didn't know that because i haven't been to clubs before right so now i was like oh so artists be coming to clubs i mean bliss is like one of the only exceptions they say if like if you want to know if you hot see if they get booked at bliss that's what yeah. they, that's what they say and when i first met my artists i we talk 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 like you know because i'm young coming to you and it's like like what is he talking so like that same weekend i used my plug and i got him to got him into bliss like that same week all right so, so all right. that's what i started like that's how i just started like oh this is cool let me dig into more and then boom. so then you made a name throwing parties mm -hmm. then you did the artistry thing. yeah all right see i'm thinking you just got in you going so i'm like i'm plugged in in these parties now i just want to start yeah managing artists what do you think you have that another manager or management team company wouldn't have because you're so young so i'm like and why would i want I, that was my ass i mean that that's, my that's you can plug them into parties yeah along with that i mean since i'm still a freshman mm -hmm. and then doing everything i've already done it's like my pull on my class is kind of getting real real strong because i'm the only freshman doing it other freshmen are like promoters for everybody else and mm -hmm. whatnot or rappers so it's like i'm the only freshman so like my pull on, a, on my class is kind of like real strong right like so, everybody I'm like, I'm like that what's the move nigga? like all right so yeah. i'm trying to figure out from an artist perspective and, and, and a management company mm -hmm. perspective i'm trying to figure out are you only managing artists that's in college or that might be in high school going to college because i'm trying to figure like if a, if a guy that's 30 years old and i'm in i'm mm -hmm. rapping in my rapping career what can Gucci and Tycoon, am I saying it right? Do yeah. for me. Yeah. At, at the age, if I if I don't want if I'm done with the parties and you know what I'm saying and I don't want to like host at clubs anymore. What yeah. what does Tycoon have to offer for me? Yeah, cause so basically we use our events and whatnot to put like for example, so like I said, how I had my artists come to my event, mm -hmm. like that's how we start off, and then from there, like I'm meeting, the, you don't know who you meet at the club, right? Like that's, that's one thing I learned. Like that's definitely you don't know who you stand and turning up with at the club. Mm -hmm. So like, what, so that's how actually that started. So one day I was in the club, and I'm just like, I'm in a section or whatever, like, and I'm turning up with all these people, and then off some like hot shit. This one guy just give me his phone, put in your IG, and then he ends up being a producer or not. So it's like that's when I start learning, like, all right, you don't know who you with and whatnot. So from there, I just started making connections. Like when I go to like clubs, I like try and like link with the managers or like, you know, have a conversation, exchange numbers. And then after that, use that to the artist's benefit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Just starting like, just, just started networking for real. Oh, that's a fact. So, so just tell, building up the connection. Tell me about a little bit about you now. We, um, we in college at Morgan mm -hmm. State University. How, how is it coming along so far? What, what is it's this? It's kind of hard balancing the two. I'm not going to, I thought it was going to be easy, but like, it's, it's like really not at all. Like you got to like, cause the school is piling and piling and piling. And then the tycoon side is piling, piling, piling more parties. Cause like ever since I came into college, like more people wanted to work. So we put in my phone, like, let's do this, let's do that, let's do that. And all that is a whole schoolwork itself. And then like what I'm actually in school for. So, so how was your time management? Well, actually, what are you in school for though? Uh, services you? supply chain management. What what is you guys? It's more of like it's like what I do now, but on a non entertainment standpoint. It would be more like on a product standpoint. On a product standpoint. Yeah. So how could you I feel like we can intertwine the two, make them mm -hmm. one. You can make your par party or the artist the product if if that makes sense right exactly so that's what i'm doing now so i'm like so supply chain more deals like something like these headphones like working for beats and help them like get better material like i'm the plug for the material for them that's kind of like supply chain or the plug to the faster transportation or like the idea to the cheaper price or whatnot that's all supply chain okay so what how was the time management though Cause like I'm I, I feel like I'm it. so old because I'm we speaking and like I, I went through my college career yeah. and it's like the thing the mistakes that I make I always want to just reach out and be like look man how can we how can we avoid those mistakes yeah it's it's kind of hard doing it like still but I'm like I'm getting through it though I'm getting through it. it's like I try to like get my work done before a certain time if I know I got an event later or like I have deadlines for work before an event or whatnot so the time management is there so I mean when you say it's hard I'm trying to figure out how hard I mean, I'm getting better, but it's just not easy. Like, all right, bro, you gotta sit down and do this work if you're trying to turn up. Like, you gotta sit down and do this work if you're trying to blah, blah, blah. Like, it's hard to do that. Like, or let's say if a school event is going on and that's within the time range I'm talking about, like, it'd be hard. So what's this message that you, you really, mm -hmm. that you really wanna push to the, the ones that's similar to you, um, the guys that might be in high school right now that's coming up, the people that look up to you as like, yo, Gucci is that guy. What's the message, what do you wanna put out in the world I mean if if you want nigga, if you a young nigga, you want to go get it go get it mm -hmm. and like don't let your age stop you don't let nothing stop you because when I was young 
Like, I would go to a lot of my ODs. They'd be like, oh, now you got to wait till this. And I just take the other route. And then I'm going to just meet you on the other side. Right. Because it's like, if you stop at me, like, that doesn't mean it has to end right there. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's the message. Like, if you want to do it, no matter what, just do so it. So why is that your message, though? Like, what have you... Because it's not easy. Not everybody can do that. Because it's like, some people, like, be told to stop and be like, oh, well, damn, I give up. Like, OG told me stop. Or, like, you know. So usually, like, when, when you had a message, I'm assuming... We have those messages because we went through something similar right and we got through it got we through don't it, want man. people to get go Stop. through the same thing mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so who was was it anybody or any group of people that was telling you that you couldn't do it or you were too young or you shouldn't yeah. be doing it yeah because like even when like even when yes yeah i shouldn't be doing that's more what it is like when i used to go to clubs they're like man you shouldn't be in clubs at this young age like you just still or these people your parents my family fa all right okay family or people at school like people at school be like oh you're not about to do this or you can't even get to the club how you about to do this like how you about to have a party at the club you can't even get in so it's like or people thought i would just stop or and crash at a point because like people that's in that was i was in high school with that's in college now like damn like i thought you was going to stop but you didn't because no, i mean because it was like some breaks in between at a point but like now the ball is just getting bigger and bigger. Like, today, 19 is going to be crazy. Nah, yeah. I believe it. So, uh, if you had to count um, the number of parties, I guess, you done did so far, mm -hmm. how many would you say you did? Um, is, is a lot? My I guy. said, like, 18. I mean, we started in May. Okay. So, wait. So, you just started? Yeah, I just graduated high school in June. Damn. Like May. I just graduated in May. You a young so, mobile on in the making, yeah. like you doing your damn thing. That's what's yeah, up, bro. I graduated in May. So, um, the first party that you had, I'm trying yeah, to, I'm trying was to, ass. I'm it trying was to, ass. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pitch this. I'm trying to put this together. The first party compared to your last party that you okay, had. Okay, okay. Well, how was what was the difference in this? The first party was like empty, and because I did it at a club, so it was more of the clubs folks. Like we talking older Spanish folks and whatnot. Mm -hmm. like, and I'm out of folks coming out. The last one I have. Since I was so young going to the club, I try to like, and then most of my peers can't get into the clubs, I try to bring the club to them. Right. So for my last party, we did it in the Airbnb, but we had like bottle girls, like I had them wear like tycoon shirts and whatnot. Like the videos on the IG, double underscore Gucci P, you can check it out. Like we had like girls in tycoon shirts with some rock bottles, tycoon signs and all that. And right. the Airbnb, confetti and all that shit. So like, we just, I just want to do shit different because everybody can throw a party, but like, you gotta like make them remember, which leads on to the next thing you want to do. So what's that different? Like, what? Why? Why am I coming to a Gucci party? You know what I'm saying? Like, Cause what's this? Because I mean, what's the experience? Parties, I feel like a party is a party, especially a college party. A yeah, college party exactly. is a college party is crazy. Exactly. You get sweaty. Exactly. So why am I coming to a Gucci party? Right. Because first things first, there is no sober at my party. You know no sober. Saying? No sober. Like we had extra Ciroc. Like we're just going crazy, bro. Like, and then it's like, I feel like you can't. You won't go into an Airbnb expecting fine females coming out with bottles because it was a Ciroc edition so it was straight Ciroc and then they I had I feel like at all was, clubs the bottle girls be fine they but, wear a lot of makeup right but people my peers can't get into the clubs out here okay so and it was at an Airbnb like inside a house okay we had the owner for, like in there with us and all that in your defense what I will say is this is like this is I'm not saying like this is my first time interviewing a party promoter. Yeah. So when you tell me you want to get interviewed, I'm like I'm trying to figure out. Cause you saying what you used to in the club. This is not a club though. Okay. Like, like so what you like 18, you come in the house, you start seeing bottle girls, you start seeing signs, you see confetti, and you fucked up at at that. So you know yeah. Now now so we not at Bliss no more. We at your own. Yeah. Venues type things now. Yeah. What is that like air like just Airbnbs that you rent out or? Yeah, it was Airbnb I rent rent it out. So this is what you're gonna do from here on. Oh no 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 no! That was a Baltimore. I'm here. Party. That was just the last party. Yeah, that was the last party. Okay, all right, I get I it. I had a party bus one before that, a party bus like, and there was the party bus was two bliss and back, all for like ten. So that joint Sheesh. was packed out. Nah, this is dope. Like I'm, niggas I'm, out here is not doing that shit. Nah, they not. Yo, honestly, <laughs> niggas out here aren't doing this working. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the, the, the the groundwork that you're putting mm -hmm. in. Y'all want to get interviewed? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like a lot of party promoters are just. Promoters, period. Not even yeah. just party. I'm not. And that's because I mean, to be honest, it's because I got a, a lot of other stuff coming up. Like that's what I said next. Which what we got crazy. coming up? What's up? Like I can give you a sneak peek. Like I'm planning on starting like a, a show. It's gonna be called Tycoon Talks, and I'm gonna have. I like it's that. gonna be like three segments. Okay. We're gonna do interviews, freestyles, and like hot topics. So we and that's gonna be on campus too. So that's it's dope. gonna be like three different segments, and that's the whole different side of Tycoon. Who are the Arkansas. people that you that you looking up to? Like Diddy. Diddy. Yeah. That's Cause, it. Cause Diddy, cause he do a lot of stuff at the same time. Sway too. Sway definitely. Yeah. Sway is lit. Mm -hmm. Sway, cause he try to like bring people that's underground up too. Nah, definitely. QC P, 
CEO. Wait, the QC. whole or oh, oh, the O, oh, just QCP, like the right, CEO. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a big inspiration too. So the talks is that's gonna be you talking to people, or you gonna have like I'm gonna have hosts doing it. Like oh, I'm so you wanna. Yo, this guy is smart. Yeah. Like, I like this guy. Yeah. So, like, so you don't even want to be the host. You don't even want to be nah. on camera. Nah. A lot of people, yo. Yeah. Like, people. my party promotion team, how yeah. I got to work. Like, my bro, shout out to my nigga Chike, by the way. He's a head, like, he's a head promoter. So, how I have it work, like, I have head promoters that have their own promoters. So, I, like, I just tell the head promoters, like, what, like, to tell their team. Who is this guy, team. Gucci? Where the I fuck did we find man. this guy from, you man? I mean? I'm fucking with it, bro. So. Yeah, so this is different. It's a, it's a kind of mindset I'm trying to have. With this but shit. what? But cause you're so young, right? Yeah. And I, I fuck with it so much because so many people want to be on camera, and it's not mm. it's nothing wrong with mm. being on camera versus being not being on camera, right? Right. However, each job is just as important. Like the camera guy job is just as important as the guy that's talking on the phone. Exactly. I mean, on, on in a mic, you know what I'm saying? Because right. without either one, they mm. both can't grow. But the fact that you're so young and you're like, nah, I don't want to be on the camera. I yeah. want my guys to do it. I exactly. want to put the things in place. Because to be honest, like when I first started, like the whole being on flyers things and all that shit, like, I already passed that phase. How? Like, when you were so camera. young, how do you pass that? What you, so you been doing this since, since middle school or since something? Since like 15. All right. Yeah, 15. So it was like being on the Where flyers the fuck was and all I that. At? Being on the flyers and all that was like, we already done that. Like, Did we start this let's young? Get to the money for real. Did y'all start this young? You did, feel me? did anybody? Hey, you started that young? Nah. Fifteen? God damn! Did anybody? Start? I ain't start that young. You, nah, you doing your thing? You have to, cause I mean, I feel like Atlanta's just running this country, and Atlanta's not the only motherfucker in this bitch. That's a fact. You feel me? DMV's in this bitch too. So like, okay, that's all. So where your parents there. originally from? Are, are Nigeria. You? I'm Nigerian. I'm gonna say cause I, I, yeah. I can kind of tell. Now I can definitely see the the kickback the pushback from your family when you're doing parties exactly you know what i'm saying because I'm, I'm yeah my mom still don't like that shit. i definitely i can she still don't like and it. it's it's, it's sad to like stereotype but some things are just what they yeah. are you know what i'm saying like usually like yeah. caribbean and african moms yeah, parents that's how they, they ain't are. with that you better go to school yeah and that's become it. a doctor or you know exactly. what I'm saying? a lawyer like we ain't with yeah, that that mediocre yeah. okay shit, you know what i'm saying so and not that's saying party doing. promoting is mediocre but like just they yeah. have that expectation but my mom is crazy with the party promoting too though like if we having like a church event she'd be going crazy with the so it's like so it's in the family so yeah, you gotta I tell her like mom look you do this you just do yeah, it on the church exactly. side let me have my and fun and entertainment for it, yeah like when i told, like when i first got my bread from the uzi concert she was like all you did was promote the indoor event she, i'm like yeah so leave me alone ma. Yeah. like i'm gonna be the yeah, doctor of this <laughs> yeah. ma. leave me no yeah, i definitely so get it yeah i fuck with it man so 2019, you keep saying you got a lot of stuff. Yeah, and also, shout out D DKS. It's a clothing brand. You talk, you know, looking at some deals from, with them next year. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be cool. So we got the, 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 the is it College Talks? What, what exactly was Ta it? Tycoon Talks. Tycoon Talks. Yeah. We got the DKS. Mm -hmm. What else in 2019 are we looking at? Because oh. you already in the future, my guy. I'm trying to catch I mean, up not, with you. I don't plan on signing more artists, but I do want, like, some type of, if anything, like some co-sign from a label or something. Because we have a new PR on our team. You know, so what plugs you got then? I mean, you yeah, he got he just came on the team, but like he he done work with Complex, BT. Um, he was working with um, what's this thing called? What's Diddy Channel called? Oh, Revolt, Revolt. TV. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For three years and all that. So he's trying to slow me down because I was trying, as soon as I got him on my team, I'm like boom, let's go. You know what I'm saying? But like he's trying to like slow me down and try and get me like prepared. So like when I do, you know, go over there, like I know what I'm talking about or I know what I'm presenting. You feel me? Definitely. Uh, just like I'm I'm rocking with you. I yeah, respect the movement, man. What what is it anything else you want to give your fans or not even the people that look uh, up to you supporters? Is it anything else you want to give them? Anything we ain't touch on? I'll just say this the beginning. It's just the beginning. Yeah, it's just, cause I I just look at it like I'm a freshman now, and it's like three more years. So only God mm. knows what's gonna happen from now till I graduate. You how, feel me? So all right, so, being a promoter, right? Yeah, a party promoter. Like, how important is social media? Because I feel like, honest, I'm gonna just give my my yeah. opinion. I feel like. It's a way it got to be presented. Yeah, because I just feel like we you posted a flyer on, on social media, like, I feel like I can get the same amount of people to come if I'm texting, like, or, mm -hmm. or maybe that's just the old guy in me. Yeah, because we have we have a tycoon page and there's my personal page. All right, so, so how important is social media when it comes to your, your promotion? It's very important. It's very important because that's what everybody looks at. So you think it's still going to be that three years from now? Because you only a whatever, freshman. Whatever it is three years from now, we're just going to go you with gonna that. Take, you going to take over it. We're just going to go with that. Damn, and I then we do like it. physical we do like physical promotions like email promotions sponsor ads all that shit respect nothing so, but respect yeah. man so uh like i said if you want to let anybody know anything else let them know yeah ain't, ain't shit for real shout out tycoon shout out my nigga shay behind the camera chike the whole tycoon gang j hill appreciate it and over there rapping the gang the gang 
Listen, Everybody, man. Fourth quarter, quarter, quarter <laughs> all that. All that. Already it's it's, made it's it. no Ghost Rider, but it ain't no Ghost Rider freestyle. I guess we are gonna have some some more content on the way. No Ghost Rider yeah. interviews and shit. You feel me? We might have to go with that. Yes, um, sir. Shout out to my the young guy Gucci yeah. man Tycoon. Double underscore Gucci P and at Tycoon MP. So all that shit. The gang is yeah, in the so. building, man. That's it, man. We don't have nothing else to say. You done? Ain't shit. Nah, ain't shit. I'm, I'm done, man. It's a wrap, man. I'll see y'all later. It's Mr. J Hill, Gucci, Tycoon, Entertainment. We out.